Welcome back to my channel, San Joaquin Engineer. On this channel, we discuss police accountability and knowledge of your constitutional rights. Today's video is from a channel that goes by the name Katie Kidman. On October 10th, 2021, Katie was in her van resting on the side of the road when she is woken up by some San Luis Obispo police officers. They threatened to tow her car if she does not move. Katie, not knowing what to do, took her phone out to record. And this is what happened next. Hi. Why? Because you can't camp here. I'm not camping. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. The okay. lady that lives here told me I could stay here. No, you can't because they called us. Oh, well, then somebody else I'm called you. Move or I'm going to tow it. Come on. I need you to move your car or you're going to get towed. One second. Do you have a card? A card? A what, a what now? A card. Sure. sure Identification card? Yeah, I can get you one. Okay. Okay. So, Rochelle, this is not the first time we've had this conversation, particularly in this exact spot. You were parked here more than once, weeks on end. I've told you you need I to just got here. cannot be here. I just got here. Okay, we've had this exact conversation two weeks ago. And? You cannot park here. You need to stop coming back here. This is a public parking spot. But you're camping. But you're camping and you can't. I'm not do camping. That. Really? You're in a you're okay, in a bedtime so... rope. Yeah. And there's nothing in your Cause I... your seat can't be driven, obviously. So you're not driving anytime soon. Let's you wanna keep going down the list? Uh what am I you doing? You want your car towed or do you want to move? What am I doing wrong? Do you want your car towed or do you want to move? I'm I'm asking you for your card and your badge. I will number. get you one, but you need to move this car. Make an effort to move the vehicle. Give me your badge number and your it's card. badge number 23. I am Officer Sanchez. Do you have a card? I will get you one. Is it on Let's the card? Get moving to get your car going. Okay, so Officer Sanchez, what have I done wrong? I've already explained to you. Your vehicle has been called in multiple times because you've been camping When? Here. Just now? Yes. Today? Not, not only just now. Well, not only today, but they have called us today again because of the same thing. Uh, for what? And I am requesting that you move your vehicle because at this point... It's if you don't move it, it's going to be towed as abandoned. I understand that you're living in your car. Towed as abandoned? It's Correct. not abandoned. Well, I'm then in move it. move it. I'm in it. Then move it. Why? If it's not operable, you, then it's blocking the road. there's a no municipal code in San Luis Obispo that allows you. It doesn't allow you to park on the street and camp in your car. I'm not camping. What are you doing? I'm reading. Okay. Well, when you're going to be moved. I'm working on something. When are you going to be moved? Why? What am I doing wrong? Yeah. All right, we're not getting anywhere. Do you want? I, a car? I'm waiting for your card still. Okay, and then you'll move the car? Uh, if you tell me what I'm doing illegally. I I just feel like you're contacted about this exact thing, like, weekly. So I'm not sure what Which else I can Which is why I'm you. recording you, because you guys are harassing me. <laughs> We're not harassing you. Yes, you are. I'm not wanna, breaking the law. Be, I don't want to be out here talking to you at all. But th it's part of... And I don't want you service. to be. And I understand that. We don't, I don't want to bother you. And, and you I'm not breaking bothered. the law. I just spent three days <clears> at the DMV getting my teeth out... 2022 tag. I have insurance. Well, I appreciate that. I pay my taxes. I'm parked on a legal illegal street. I'm not doing anything wrong. We're not here and for you're any threatening of to so, tow. So it's nine. You're so, threatening to tow my vehicle. Recently, officers in San Luis Obispo have been knocking on doors and windows in the middle of the night and handing them tickets when they answer the door. Regardless of your views on the growing numbers of houseless people. While I may not have the solution to the problem, I don't think utilizing police to threaten the houseless is the best option. If the road is public, then there aren't any policies or ordinances that can be opposed to stop cars from parking there, especially if there is not a sign that prohibits parking. Katie even alluded to the fact that she couldn't park in one of the areas due to a sign that prohibited parking, showing that she is willing to comply if she had to. It's 9. At 10, you can't be camping in your vehicle. Uh, who said I was camping? They're camping all over San Luis Obispo. We're not talking about other people. We go to all oh, the calls. But they can, they can camp out in tents and in motor homes and all over the streets of San no, Luis they Obispo. Get on, they, have to get, they have to move as well. No, they, they don't move. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Uh, do you, are you a police officer? Do you, do you, have, do you have a homeless shelter? Yeah. 
for somebody to stay in? Yeah. That's available? Sure. <clears throat> Where? 40 Prado? No, there's nothing available there. Why? Because. There's safe parking everywhere. Go park at the railroad. It's safe parking. No, it isn't. Yeah, it's not it safe is. over there. It is safe. No, it isn't. It's somewhere where you won't get called on. There's a sign there that says you can only park for a certain amount of time. Yeah, well, you can't park here and camp here for any amount of time. I'm not camping, and I can park here. Legally, I can park here, and you can't tow my van. That's illegal, what okay. you're doing. Well, I don't. I hope it doesn't get to a point where we're going to tow your van, but I don't want you to be surprised about that. Oh, you won't be towing it. Okay. Because you won't have the opportunity. You guys have done that before. And so this time, I'm going I'm to see you. So we have done it before. Yeah, it cost well, me seven thousand dollars to get it out. Then you're aware it could be done, right? By well, somebody like you. Yeah. Aye aye. Okay. Sure do. Perfect. Luckily, so, I don't have to have a phallic symbol to, you know, be myself. Oh, this isn't. Wear no. a ba badge and guns. Right. And, that's what you makes know, me myself, huh? Threaten a sixty-two-year-old grandmother. Who's threatening you? You are. How, what did I threaten you with? Taking my my van. Well, because you're doing something illegal. That's no, I'm not. A 62 year old grandmother. I'm not doing anything illegal. What okay, am I well, doing your car's illegal? Been towed for this, right? No, not for this. What was it towed for? Other uh, other right. ridiculous okay. signs and stuff that you guys put up randomly huh? or. Check the ch check the dash. Do you have a card? Let's see if I got one for you. My name's Officer Bracey, badge number nine. I could go grab one. The, the information I just gave you is not going to be on my card, though. Can you write it down on there, then? Yeah, of course. Please. Is it okay if I do it on a piece of paper? Sure. Okay. What do you want on there? Your name and badge number and what my what you're charging me with. No, nope. Ma'am, no one's charging me with anything. We're just here talking to you about this. Or we're telling you what could happen. What could happen? Yeah. And you think that's fine and dandy? Do I think what's fine and dandy? Threatening somebody that you know this is all I have and you're threatening to take it away from me? No, I don't want to take anything away from you. But when people complain about something that is illegal, we have to take action on that. There's both of them, okay? So what's illegal about... So right now we're marking your car for... Uh, Abandoned vehicle. So if it's not moved within 72 hours, it'll be. It's not abandoned. I'm here. It, if you don't move your car, it's abandoned. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Well, if you're not moved in 72 hours. I want to leave everybody with this final thought and show a brighter side if I can. If these people are already unfortunate to not have a house or residence due to possible financial struggles, what sense does it make to issue these individual citations with fines attached to them? The city of San Luis Obispo has responded to the recent houseless surge by creating areas for individuals to park and sleep so long as they were to stay in their car. Only time will tell if this is a viable solution. Big thank you to Katie Kidman for recording these officers and keeping her composure. Be sure to head on over to her channel, subscribe, and let her know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Thank you all for watching, and remember, know your rights and always record. Hours will be towed, whether or not you're here, okay? Is she putting chalk all around my tires? Yes, that is. See, you're familiar with it. Yeah, because you guys only do it to me and well, nobody you're still else. You're here after 10 p.m. That's camping and you'll receive a citation. That's what? Good night. Amendment rights, I'ma speak my mind. I don't care about how you feel, cause I'm living mine. Pay them tax dollars, I put in some overtime. I keep my camera rolling, I don't believe it was a crime. We caught watch, watch us hold them accountable, they ain't about nothing. Cause we be standing our ground and we is not running. And this is all real life, so learn a lot from it. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch. God watch.